good morning. Today we're going to wake up well and get some energy in our body to start our day. Thank you for joining me. I'm in Pagosa Springs, Colorado. It's a beautiful morning and looking forward to moving and breathing with you. So let's begin sitting up on our shins. Closing your eyes down. Three rounds of breath, a little slower and a little deeper maybe than you've been breathing up until this moment. So steady, slow. I like to imagine like an hourglass that's been turned over. I'm letting the sand settle from the mind, from the world, down into the body. Once more. And let's bring the hands together and let's take Lotus Mudra. So we'll have the thumbs and the fingers touching and the hands go wide. And we'll begin to move with breath. On an inhale, let's press the mudra forward and up. Exhale, hands, heart, center. You can bring them together as you do this. And then maybe the flower blooms as you press it forward and up on an inhale. And then exhale, hands come together as it draws down to heart center. And this time let's press down through the shins. Inhale, press down through the shins. Grow the lotus as you come up. And exhale, hands together, hips to heels. Once more like this. Press forward, bloom up. Inhale. Exhale. Let's lean over towards the right. The right hand plants and the left leg comes out. So the foot comes all the way down. The hand, left hand can be on the hip. Or maybe you reach overhead. Your choice. And then let's all meet with the hand overhead here. Big circles with the arm. So you're kind of cactusing it back. And then stargazer. We'll send the hips forward as the heart, hand, head come back. Kind of get that good morning stretch here. And exhale, knees come together, hands to heart center. Inhale, flower comes forward and up. And exhale, hands together, hips to heels. Again, inhale, bloom. And exhale over towards the left. Left hand plants, right leg out, same thing here. Find stillness for a moment. Pressing down through the right sole of the foot and the left hand. And then some big circles with the arm. Continue with that big steady breath. And the next time around, send the hips forward. Cactus the arm, stargazer. And exhale. Legs together. Hands to heart center. One round of breath here. Inhale, press forward and up, bloom up. And exhale over towards the right. Same place we were earlier. Inhale, the arm over the head. And exhale here. And then inhale, stargazer. And exhale, the heart spirals down, the hands plant. We're going to walk over towards the left foot. Left toes come up. Reach off the right side of the mat and then explore bending and lengthening the left leg. You might find lots of things going on here. Hands are wide. Let's begin to move the spine. So inhale, lift as if the heart could shine forward and exhale, fold forward. Your choice what to do with the left leg. Do pull back on the left hip crease. And continue to breathe and move. One more inhale. And exhale all the way back around. Right hand plants, left arm swings up. Put the weight into the right hand as the left leg lifts. So really strong action here. You can stay here or bend 
the left leg, grab for the foot. I like to pull the glute or my heel towards my glute and then send the hips forward just slightly. I get a really nice quad stretch here. Alternatively, you can kick into the hand as well. So your choice. Oof, it feels good. One more inhale wherever you are, maybe opening the heart a little bit more. And exhale, sitting back on the shins, hands to heart center. One round of breath in. And out. You can feel my heart ramping up a little bit, some energy moving. Inhale, send your bloom forward and up. And exhale, left hand comes down to the left, right leg extends. Staying here for a moment. Inhale, stargazer, hips move forward, head, heart, hand move back, arch back. And then exhale, heart spirals down. The hands will walk around all the way towards the right. Right toes pop up, hands off the left corner of the mat, and then play around with the bend and the straightening of the right leg. But do think about pulling back on the right hip crease, outer hip crease. You can also think of like an outer spiral with the right thigh. There's an external rotation. And then let's wave the spine. One more inhale. And exhale, moving around back towards the left. Right arm swings up, weight in the left hand. And lift the right leg. You can stay right here or bend the leg. Heel to glute or kick into the hand. If you have the heel to your booty, then shift the hips forward. And then lengthen as if you could reach through your knee down towards the back of the mat. Maybe you can spiral the heart open just slightly. One more inhale. And exhale. Come back to a seat, one round of breath in. And out. Beautiful. Let's turn on the mat. Come into a downward facing dog. So first one, pedal it out, find some space, notice where the space is and notice where the tightness is and just breathe into both. Bend the knees really deep and push the belly back towards the thighs. Wiggle the hips and then we'll walk towards the top of the mat. Three rounds of breath here. Bend the knees deeply. Let them come onto the belly. Hands can come forward slightly. Inhale, lengthen the heart forward. And exhale, fold. Twice more. Inhale. And exhale, fold. Once more, in. And exhale, fold down. See if you can really send the sit bones up to lengthen the hamstrings, and then bend into the knees. The arms are gonna go wide, heart shines forward, gaze forward, and come all the way up, pressing down through the feet. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, take the mudra. We're gonna bloom forward and up. Exhale, soft bend in the knees, hands wide, pour forward, leading with the heart. So a slow fold down. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway up. Exhale, fold down. Soft bend in the knees, arms go wide, press down through the feet, begin to gaze forward and press all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Again, like this. Bloom the lotus forward and up. Exhale, arms wide, pour forward. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, plant the hands. Take a big step back with the left foot here. The back knee plants. Inhale, open the heart, cactus the arms. Press down through the front foot so you can square the hips. Stay here for just a moment, reaching out the sides of the hands. Still pressing in the front foot. And exhale, plant the hands down. 
pick up the back heel or the back knee, spin the back heel down, open up warrior two. So we'll take a moment getting in here. Inhale, press down through the front foot, lift the legs and exhale, warrior two, reach out. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, warrior two. And then once more, inhale, lengthen the front leg. Exhale, warrior two, staying here for a moment. Like we talked before, think about an outer spiral with the front thigh and pull back on the outrider hip, out right hip crease. Finding some strength here, steady breath. Next inhale, press through the front foot, turn the right toes forward as the hands come up. Let's send the heels in, the toes slightly out. Bend the legs and draw the hands to heart center goddess pose. So really actively pressing into the hands and maybe opening up into Lotus Mudra. So everything is pressing in except for the fingers here and sinking low in the hips. You can move, you can find stillness, whichever. And then let's sink the hips low as the hands come down, forward and up, press into the feet as you lift. And then exhale, hands together, sink down goddess pose. One round of breath here. Again, Lotus Mudra, sink the hips down. Let's bring it down forward all the way up. And coming down, hands to heart center. And we're gonna reach the hands all the way down. Send the hips up, heels out, toes in, wide leg forward fold. So the knees can be as soft as you'd like. Maybe bend side to side, wiggle the hips, pour the head forward. And then we're gonna walk towards the back of the mat. Take a low lunge, heart forward, gaze forward, and then exhale, the right foot meets the left, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, fold down. Soft bend in the knees. Press down through the feet as the arms go wide and press all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, big step back with the right foot. The back knee plants. Inhale, cactus the arms. Really press through the front foot to keep the hips square and stable. We'll stay here for one breath. Heart center moving forward, the arms moving back. One more breath. And exhale, plant the hands. Lift the back knee, back heel plants. Windmill open, warrior two. Actively pressing evenly through both feet, especially give some more attention to the back foot. We move with breath. Inhale, lengthen the front leg, arms come up. Exhale, warrior two. Twice more with your breath. And exhale, stay in warrior two. Maybe you can energetically pull the feet towards one another. See how that lights up the inner thighs. Let the shoulders rest away from the ears. And inhale, lengthen the front leg, left toes turn forward. And again into goddess pose. Exhale. Sink low. Sink the hips, bring the hands down, forward and up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Again, inhale, sink low, forward and up. And exhale, hands to heart center once more because this feels really nice. Inhale, sink low, forward and up. 
And then turn the heels out, the toes in, hands to the hips. Send the hips forward just slightly. Roll the shoulders back, heart opens. And then exhale, hinge at the hips, stick the booty out as you fold forward. Wide leg forward fold. Maybe hands come to the heels, or they can reach forward and like a downward dog. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, turning back towards the front of the mat. Inhale, low lunge. And exhale, left foot meets the right, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, the hips come down towards the heels. Your choice here, you can keep the hands on the ground. You can bring the hands to the knees. You can bring the hands to the heart in Lotus Mudra. Squeeze the legs together. And this mudra really representing the ability that we have to change, the capacity that we have to shift regardless of our predicament or circumstance. It's a beautiful one to use in the morning, the beginning of a new day, a reminder that we always get the chance to begin again. I'm gonna come down to the earth Reach the arms forward as the knees separate. So you have a little bit of counterbalance here. Maybe starting to sink low. And then slowly we'll come all the way down. The hips will come to the ground. We'll come into Baddha Konasana. Soles of the feet together. Press down through the sit bones. Reach up through the spine. And then exhale, fold forward. About three rounds of breath here. Mm, such a beautiful morning. Mm. Slowly rise up. And we'll just take a gentle twist. So we'll send both knees over towards the left. And just twist towards the right. And then switching sides. Mm. And release. Sukhasana, good space pose. Maybe a little bit of spiral in the spine, just feeling into the space that you created. Moving our body and spending a bit of time breathing is always the best way to set the stage for the day. So whether it is just a few moments or a full practice, mm, I think it's a, a winning formula. Let's take three rounds of breath together. So if you'd like to take Lotus Mudra at your heart, you may. Three steady rounds of breath in and out together. One more inhale. Full exhale. And close the hands, bring the thumbs to the third eye and let's pour forward to say namaste. Thank you, Suksama. Hmm. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me. I hope we get to do it again. If you'd like some longer classes then, or, and some live classes, then head over to CCY Studio. Links are in the bio here and we can do some live practice. Check it out. And I'll see you next time on your mat, wherever that may be. Love from Colorado.